We continue to see impacts from Lahars in Nagros. That's following our volcanic eruption in Mount Kenaloon earlier this week. And uh, this is showing some images. Renner sent this in to me. Uh, he mentioned that there was a lot of dead fish uh, just thanks to that mud and the ash fall getting washed in a lot of these rivers. And, of course, fish can't live in that. So, you know, these are some secondary impacts to that large explosion we've seen uh, earlier this week back on Monday. And this is just another impact in a community. Unity right in there. Be careful if you're going to be walking into this situation. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's only a foot or two deep. It's not like you're going to drown in it, but there could be some objects in there that could be considered very, very dangerous. So some things just keep in mind as we go ahead over the next coming days. Sometimes uh, you you want to avoid uh, impacts from Lahars. Now, if you're curious, uh, if you're thinking he just made up this word, um, Lahar sometimes gets associated with glacial melt during a volcanic eruption and uh, very famously Mount St. Helens, for example. But also Mount Tinatobo uh, also had a Lahars because there was a typhoon that hit after the eruption. All that volcanic ash washed into valleys and it was very, very deadly. Thankfully, we haven't seen any deadly uh, situations following this one. But uh, just um, still having impacts even a week after that larger eruption uh, took place. And we have reports of asphalt around that area. So anywhere in the, kind of these uh, highlighted areas is where you could still see that potential for uh, asphalt runoff with our recent rains, which we have been seeing. I can just take a look at our satellite picture, Bacalod right there in Negros, <clears throat> just towards the northwest of the volcano. You still have some cloudy skies in that area. It doesn't look like we've seen rain today, but we did see it yesterday, and that's what caused that runoff uh, with those Lahars. And if we take a look and just zoom right in on our forecast, and it's right here on the northern portion of Negros. You see Mount Canalone right there. Actually, this one right here. Um, yeah, look at that. Just influx of moisture because that southwest monsoon continuing to kick in, pushing that moisture on shore, and it runs up those mountains, kind of causes that upslope for orographic lifting is what we call it in the meteorological community, and enhances that chance of rainfall. So still more rain, still more potentials there. I'm always going to keep you posted on the impacts from this. As always, if you have any questions... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like these updates, hit that like and subscribe button. But number one thing, of course, is stay safe out there, friends. Have a good day.